We love hip hop. Academics um, was talking with Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, that's cool. At Mar a Lago. Right? He live streamed from Mar a Lago on Wednesday. And I was wondering, like, he had posted on his Instagram, I'm going to be in Mar a Lago. It's going to be crazy. Da, 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 da. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, um, what's he going to be doing there? And a live stream from there. Next thing you know, I look, he's there sitting with Donald Trump Jr. Yes, he is. Um, there's one thing, though. I know he's a Trump supporter, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's cool, right? I think that the, 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 he's politically influenced at this point. I think that they put some money in his pocket. For sure. They got me feeling like I'm academics. Yeah. Can't ride the way. You could address either one first. At the concept, I'm, I'm sort of, you know, I, I'm not long on these concepts because, I, a, a, I think they're too complicated. I think they get taken too advantage of. I think, you know, when you see some of the numbers that are being thrown around, it's like, it's like my like, like, like Bernie had said, like he, he like he had mentioned that too. Like he was like, yeah, yeah, like, like you know, Bernie California, was like, oh, it's like thirty trillion dollars, and we can be fine. I'm like, wait a minute, like, what, <laughs> yeah. like, what are you talking? Like, let's, see. so uh, you know. I, I don't know. I think it's one of these things, obviously, a, a disgusting and terrible time in our country. I, you know, I, but I, I just, I don't know how you do that reasonably, logically, equitably. If there, uh, if there was a way, say say some little genius came up with a way, hey, listen, we're not giving no more money to Ukraine. They're cut off. We're not giving this. And then this excess money, we're going to give some to school, some of this. So I'm going to stop it there. Because mm-hmm. act is the hip hop guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's been breaking the, the, the all these these this tunes, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. Rick Ross is sending him tunes. Everybody's sending him tunes because he's the rap guy. He's th- sitting there talking about reparations with Donald Trump Jr. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to ask you guys again. And listen, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, people take money from political parties all the time. Yeah. Okay, it's up to them what they want to do and how they sleep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you think that the Republican Party has been paying ACK money? To endorse Trump. Probably. And I think it's a good move for everyone. Mm. And the reason is because American politics is still largely theatrical. Like you have, even though we know all these politicians are doing corrupt stuff, like they still present themselves in a very like uh, politically correct way. This is Donald Trump. Donald Trump can't like do this he sends his son his son's smoking a cigar <laughs> blew this guy out yeah. talking to a black uh streamer you know what i'm saying not like you didn't go to anderson cooper or to cnn to be, you yeah. know what I'm saying? he went to dj academics on his platform and just chopped it up and i think it's from trump's camp it's like it's so like forward and like intelligent and you even see this with their alignment with the Nelk boys. Mm, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the Nelk boys and academics, they appeal to that 20 to 40 year old male. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and when people like see Donald Trump Jr. or Donald Trump like interacting with these people, it's like it humanizes them. Yeah. It kind of yeah. brings them closer to us because like these guys are ultra billionaires. We, they probably cannot relate to our experience. But when you see Donald Trump Jr. talking like the smoke and a cigar, you're like, yo, like, I could probably kick it I, with this guy. You I, know what I'm saying? I agree he seems with Zara. knowable. He's hitting a he's hitting a, a demographic that you can't otherwise yeah. hit if you don't try to get the try black to get vote, to these guys. ambassadors. You know, yeah, these the black vote and the hood black vote too. It's important in America. Right? It's one thing to get like the the voters who like the black vote who people who have money and they're like, yeah, Trump's been helping me with my taxes and stuff like that. And you know what I mean? Like he's he's, he's making the money come in, but the hood, like they're listening to certain voices. Sexy Red, Academics. Who else is like heavy on the Trump? Th- and even what y'all are saying with the Nelk Boys, right? Nelk Boys, Nelk. they're serving they're the here. demographic of the of that younger people, but on the white side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's so true. That's so true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all yeah. of the because not only like you're saying there is the thirty. What, what did you say? The twenty dem- to forty. I just I yeah, don't know. It, yeah. But that's ex- they're getting all of the t- the twenty somethings, especially fam. Yeah, they're they're like analytics probably says like between 20 and 30 like if that's like an analytics point probably like that's the highest part on the graph you know what i'm saying and then 30 to 40 it starts going down a little bit but 20 to 30 they got that like locked in you know what i'm saying like 
the jock guys who want to watch Nuck Boys. Ah, cool, dude. Yeah, stymie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stymie. Yeah, dude, Trump. Right. Yeah, fucking yeah. Fuck Trump. Fuck yeah. Biden, man. People are over Biden. Like, it's hard to take them seriously as, mm-hmm. like, an actual opposition. Even if you are a Democrat or, like, super liberal, like, you can't even deny that Biden doesn't look like he knows his left from right foot right yeah, now. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just because I heard him saying a few times, like he just messes with Trump. You know, you know, people be saying that that they're in my pocket, but that's not true. I just messed with Trump. Uh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> <Liar>. good. <laughs> Liar. But like, bro, they're flying you out, having you over in the crib. You should get paid. Like, you yeah. have the platform. You have the voice they want. They're obviously going to pay you. Yeah. And like, Maybe they have some kind of NDA around the terms of payment or whatever. Yeah, or you can't talk about that we paid you. But I love this, bro. I think they're giving him the questions to ask and telling him, like, we need to talk about this. I think they're reviewing his shit at least. Mm -hmm. If you came up with your own shit, like, let me go through all of that shit. Take this one out. Take that one out. Maybe word this one like this. (laughs) They're they're trying to go for a certain agenda while... Mm -hmm. Like a, a goal with this type of interview or this type of content, right? Yeah. You know what president was really good at doing the media circuits, especially urban media, was Barack Obama. You yeah. know, I feel like he wasn't too old where like he was out of touch and he would be like, Yeah, I listen to the Fugees, I like hip hop, whatever, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was very media friendly. But I feel like other presidents can't really pull it off because they're too old or they're too Ooh. like you can tell like if Joe Biden goes on Breakfast Club, he's clearly pandering. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like clearly there's no way around. It. This kind of looks like a semi in a like normal interaction. Like they might even have this type of relationship off camera. Yeah. Like, who's to say this is the first time they're meeting? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? They probably well, he's on the radar. Remember, he met Trump at the um the UFC event and he took the picture with Trump, right? Mm. So from there, he probably started getting a little bit more tied in. Yo, let me talk to you a little later. You know what I'm saying? Let's do some business. You know what I'm saying? Yo, pull up to Mar-a-Lago and let's go stream. Yeah. Hey, I will make that happen. Three, four months later, boom. Days. And I, I don't think Donald Trump necessarily Probably knows exactly later. who Academics is. Like, but he his no. son definitely does. Yeah, his son will. But Donald Trump knows who the Nelk Boys are because he knows Dana White. Yeah. And Dana White knows the Nelk Boys. So like that's why Donald Trump this could have been Donald Trump and Academic instead of Academic and his son. You know? Yeah. That would have been crazy. That that would actually break the internet. Like yeah, it might even get broke. removed later. Yeah, you know? Because yeah. he would have said something. Trump would have said something to act that I had everybody. Trump there. on a live stream? You know how many people would tune in? Millions. Yeah. No, Act Act's been doing some big, big moves lately. And so I, I gotta salute Act for that. Cause like, where is it that you see a streamer who went from being in like his room? You never really seen him. You just used to see him in a little box in the corner mm-hmm. to like, you know, he's a multimillionaire. And now he's interviewing president's son or former president's son and stuff. He's breaking records. Yeah. Like he is literally like the radio. Like they're sending it to act. They're not sending it to friggin hot 97 first or breakfast yeah. club. Yeah. They send it to academics first. That is crazy that like he has literally facilitated this whole like rap beef saga that we're yeah. seeing. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Salute to act. You know, if you're getting some bags from them, take the bag, bro. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. You know what I'm saying? We love hip hop.